Alright guys, Chad and I have been trapped on this bus for so long and Marlon actually was trapped in here with us for a very long time too, but now he got guys, out. Wait, what the Marlon, no, we I need your help to let it, to get us out of here. Yeah. yeah. Marlon just used his fingerprint to get out of here, so I think if I maybe try to use my fingerprint, we can get out using our fingerprints V, right? What you do is you take a pencil and you make this big dark line. Then I'm gonna put my finger right on it like this. So I got a bunch of it on my finger here. To transfer the fingerprint, we use tape. Make sure you firmly press against it so you can see it right on there. Once we put the fingerprint on the paper, for Marlon, the, the door opened right up. Let's see if this works. Come on, door, here we go. It worked, it worked, it worked. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Yeah, 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 try your fingerprint thing. Yeah, use your fingerprint thing. Yeah, we just did. Wait, I'm gonna show, try it now. I use my thumb. Keep here. Transfer carefully. Here it goes. Hopefully once I put my tape fingerprint on here, the door will open. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> did it open? Did it open? No. It, did, it, didn't it didn't work. work. It didn't work. Oh. Yes. Okay, oh. all right. You gotta help me out. So I'm, I'm yeah. stuck here by myself now. I don't know what to do. We're gonna go and try to get some of your spy gear, V, and bring that back to you and see if that'll help you yeah, get out of here, like, okay? Open the door with that. We'll be right back. Be right back. All right, we'll see you back. All right, I'm gonna double check to make sure that we didn't miss any clues or maybe any like weapons or any gear that I can try and get out and crack that door open. I haven't even looked underneath the seats yet. This side. Oh, I'm trying to reach like way back there. Nothing. I wanna try underneath like the seats. Can't feel anything, you guys. Can I see anything there? Oh my, I thought I, did I find something? I thought I felt something. Maybe it's just a seat belt though. Cause you know, all these seat belts here are just hanging all over the place. Okay, you guys, like my hands are super dirty and my knees hurt really badly. Look, I got a bruise already. I'm not doing this anymore. I haven't even tried this exit door here. Emergency exit to open, pull up handle, push door out. Oh. Oh. Almost. Hopefully Chad comes back soon with like a ninja weapon or something and maybe you can pry this open. Okay guys, doesn't seem like there's any clues back here. Let's go back all the way up to the front of the bus and just keep an eye out for me, okay? Okay. Oh wait, you know what? All the seats have numbers and I think when Marlon and Chad were in here with me, something weird was happening at seat number 13. So I'm gonna really thoroughly check that seat out. Just wanna see if there's anything on the seat belt. Anything in between the seats. Like you can find like quarters. Wait, let me see, I think I found something. Oh. Oh, it's just a tag. All right, let's see. Nothing here. Nothing in between the windows because sometimes things can get stuck here. 13. Wait a minute. Look at this. There's a little triangle note. It's kind of stuck. Ah! Ah! Wait. What was that noise? I think it came from the speakers. Okay, that was really weird. I heard something. Did you guys hear anything? It was like really staticky. Am I going crazy? I mean, is it too hot in here? I'm just like freaking out and I'm just hearing things. Let me know in the comments. Oh, it says objects are closer than they appear. Gosh, that sounds really familiar. I feel like I've read this somewhere. Do you guys know where this exact phrase is appeared? You know, let me know in the comments below where you have seen this exact phrase. But I can't think of where I see it. I'm gonna keep this in mind and let's let's see what else we can find. Let's see. Oh, look at this walkie-talkie. Maybe I can call for help. Interior. If I switch over to the right here, exterior, maybe I can yell to outside to see if I can get help. Hello, anybody out there? This is V Quaint. I'm stuck in a yellow school bus. I'm waiting for someone to come and help me. I'm still stuck in here. Hopefully someone heard me and they come and rescue me. Cause I'm not sure how long Chad and Marlon's gonna take. This looks like one of those cassette players. That's interesting because we've been getting cassette messages from the hacker. It must be the same hacker. That's part of this. Let's see what else. I'm just gonna like try all the buttons. 
Okay. okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, push off. Okay. All right, fan. <gasps> oh, this fan works. You guys, it's so hot in here. Oh. Uh, you guys, give this video a thumbs up right now if you fan yourself this way. Check transmitter. Nothing. Okay. R. Nothing's happening. N. D. None of these buttons. Absolutely nothing. It's nothing but the fan. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna check for the comments right now to see what you guys are suggesting. All right, in the comments, I'm seeing a lot of you guys saying objects are closer than they appear are usually on mirrors. Yeah, they're usually on like mirrors in a car, in a truck. All right, so nothing on this mirror. I checked all over the back. Maybe it's one of the mirrors outside of the window. All right, so in case any of you guys are wondering why I'm not jumping out of this window. Yeah, because Chad and I tried in Marlon's video to jump out because that was like the first thing that we did. But once we tried doing that, Marlon got a text and the hacker said that you can't do that or else he'll delete one of our channels. So I don't want to risk that. But let's check this mirrors out here. So I don't see anything here. I'm feeling all over the back. There's nothing. Nothing here too. Oh, wait a minute. All right, this looks like another note. It like rolls into like a scroll. Air, era? Why is there a question mark right here? Okay, you guys, this does not look like English at all. The question mark is even backwards. So you guys should let me know in the comments what language is this. Let me know right now because I need to figure this out. You know what? Maybe this is not a different language at all because in Marlin's video, we found a clue and it was written backwards. And since I found this near a mirror, maybe this note is backwards also. How many degrees are in a triangle? Wow, this hacker is getting pretty complicated now. He's like doing math problems now. How many degrees are in a triangle? Okay, if you guys know the answer to this, let me know in the comments down below because you guys are great at solving clues, solving puzzles, and especially helping me out. Okay, while I'm waiting for you guys' help, I'm gonna try and figure this out on my own. All right, I'm gonna draw a couple triangle. There's triangles that look like this, like super skinny. There's like a lot of different types of triangles. How do I know which angles it's talking about? Because like each angle is different. There's like the, like there's the 90 degree angle, which is like an L, you know, it's like that. I know that's 90, but like if I connect it, then these two angles will be 45. Wait a minute, how do I just know that? How do I know that these are 45? Oh. Totally! Okay, like, I remember, like, in geometry class, all angles of any triangle, doesn't matter the size of it, it's always going to equal 180 degrees. That's, like, really weird how, like, that just happened. It's, it's almost like auto memory, like, what I learned, like, from way back. I mean, like, five years ago. So, this is 90 degrees, plus 45, plus 45, that's 180. Let me check, let me check in the comments, let's see. Yeah, a bunch of you guys are also commenting 180, so I think that's definitely the answer. What the heck does that mean? 180. Do you see 180 anywhere on this bus? I mean, I see 26. Wait, 18. Does it just mean 18? Any more notes up here? No. Any clues on the seats? Just some peanut butter sandwich crackers. I might need this if I'm stuck in here for like 24 hours. So I'll keep that. So maybe it's not 18. Maybe it's one and eight and zero. Eight. Let me check for more clues. There's nothing up here. Right here. Here's the pen. Oh, I think I... Is this something? I can't tell. I think I, I, I feel something. Oh, it was so loud, you guys. What is going on here? I think the hacker is definitely watching us or listening to us right now because I feel like every time I come close to finding the clue or finding or solving something, something weird and creepy happen. Okay, I just wanna mention that this note was also folded in a triangle. All right, this note here also has a triangle. This angle here is 89 degrees. Okay. So that means one angle is 89. B, I can find another clue on number one. Ah, I think that's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's look at number one here. 
Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any clue in between the seats. In here. Right here. It's another triangle. This better be another angle. It is! It's another angle. It says 65 degrees. Okay, the other one was 89. I can definitely solve what the third one's. I don't know if you know, not only am I a spy ninja, but I'm also a math ninja. So you can find the area of the triangle because I already know it's 180. 180 is the total triangle. So you gotta subtract this. And it's 89 plus 65 equals all right, you guys, let me know if you guys know what 89 plus 65 is. I need your help. Okay, so 89 plus 65 is 154. 180 minus 154 equals 26. 26. What does that mean? Is that another seat number? 26. Let me look for another triangle. I mean, another triangle. Okay. Nothing. I don't find any other clue, but I do find a ton of seatbelts here. And in the last video on Marlins, I remember that when I put the seatbelts together, the door did open, so I'm gonna try that. This one, the maroon one goes together. Does that do anything? Oh, nothing, let me try another one. Black and black. Let's see. Oh, that didn't work but we still have one more seatbelt left to see if that works. It's opening, the door's opening. Let's go, let's go. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh no, the door's closed. Come on, let me out, let me out. What is this right here? Gosh, I was so close to running through that door. I swear I sweep the whole entire bus, but I didn't see this book before. That's so weird. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, what is this? It says, sign in sheet, Daniel, Nancy, Robert. Uh, okay, so someone just decided to cross out their name. This is all underlined, DNR. DNR. DNR, DNR. I feel like there has to be a clue somewhere on this bus. Comment down below if you have seen this combination of letters somewhere on this bus before and let me know. Okay, while you guys are figuring that out, I'm gonna try one more emergency exit. Okay. All right. Come on! Uh. 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 I can't get it. I can't get it. Ah! You guys, since that didn't work, I'm gonna check the comments to see if you guys found out what that DNR stands for. All right, it looks like you guys are saying it's in the driver seat, like the shifting of the gear or something. Let's go back up there. Shifting gear. Let's see, where, where is that? Oh, it's right here. I think, it's, I think the order was D and R. Let's see what happens. D, N, R. <gasps> I heard something. I heard something. Oh my gosh, the cargo outside is open. It's open, I'm gonna call Chad. Chad, okay, whatever you're doing, just stop, come back. I got the cargo open. I think that's the way to get out, so come back here and, and help me. Here they come, Marlon! Chad, hurry, hurry, hurry! What's up? Look, look, this thing just opened, the cargo. Yeah, since I can't get out, I need yeah. you guys to let me know what's in it. Oh, Whoa. there's a lever down in here. A oh lever? Gosh, there's a lever. lever. Should we yeah. try pulling it? Pull it, yes. Okay. What if it's a trick? Oh no. Yeah, what if it locks us in there? Yeah, okay, yeah. Marlon, you go in and I'll stay out. Okay. Just in case you get locked in, then uh, then I'm still free. I have to. Okay, I mean, I'll do it for you guys. We'll both do just it. Just make sure you get me out. All right. All right, we're gonna pull it, me. Okay, okay go. three, three two, two, one. one. Oh, the door opened. The door's open. Oh, it's open. It's open! Oh my gosh! It's open! Come on, hurry! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We're stuck in there for so long. Oh my god! Long, guys. I don't want to be stuck on a bus ever again. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! If you want to know how we got stuck on the bus, make sure to go over Chad's channel right now and check out his video. Make sure to subscribe to me, subscribe to Chad, subscribe to Marlon, because we are all in this together. Keep a clue out, guys, in all of our three videos. Let us know if you see anything crazy. We need your help. We need to figure out who this hacker is. All right, well, I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.